My followers on TikTok are greedy, money hungry, selfish, and they all want to make a bag. And that's why they've been asking me and been on my ass to make a video on options trading so I can show them my options trading strategies, how I do it, um, how I learned, and basically where you start. So in this video, we're going to go over just that. And I hope that after this, you will be able to make a bag. You can join my free Discord with my free alerts that I call out if you want to make a bag that way. If you're not lazy, if you're not a bot, if you want to escape the matrix, this is your chance. This is your opportunity. I mean, we all want to do it. This is one of the ways you do it through the financial markets. This is uh, a lot of people have done it this way through investments. You know, there is always big money out there, but for us small fishes, it gives us a chance. It gives us a chance against these big players, these big institutions that run shit. This is one of the only chances that you will ever have of beating them. So let's get into it. So here's how we're looking right now. Actually on the day we are looking pretty good, not gonna lie. This is the Robinhood account. Let me go over to it. Um, I will be moving my video camera when I need to, but for right now I'm just gonna do it this way. Yesterday we got in some lift calls, snap calls. We're gonna go over these calls and then with these I can explain what an option is, why do you need an option, the Greeks, there's there's some Greek stuff, it's, it's almost math, like you don't have to use crazy math on this if you don't want to, it's whatever you want to do, like I don't use a lot of math on options when I do them, may be good, it may be bad, but sometimes you overthink them, I entered this lift yesterday, this is for 3-3, three, three. you can see it better right here. I entered this lift yesterday for 3-3. Three, three. So today is 215 and we are we are already up a hundred percent on it. This is a call. This is a call we took. So this is a long call. This is a bullish position. What did I see in it? You were probably wondering what I saw in lift. Here's how we're looking right now. So looking at the past week, right? It's been shredded. We see that it's been shredded. That's obvious. Why was it shredded? Earnings. So it's an earnings dip. So there's something called premium that comes into play with options. So whether it's a call or a put, this is an option for 100 shares. So each option is worth, it's, it's a, a contractual obligation to buy or sell 100 shares of said stock, of XYZ stock at XYZ price. So when the premium on this when the stock dropped from 16 to 1050, the bullish call options dropped heavy in premium. So, I mean, that's where I come in because I sort of know options. I know that there's like a premium with them. So when I see that premium drop like that, I'm instantly thinking like farther out call. Even though I know it's super ugly, you know, I know it's ugly. They had ugly earnings. They fell bad, but... I also know that they're the little brother to Uber. You know, like that's the way I look at it. So yesterday in the morning, I came in. Somewhere around this time, I bought like one of these higher ranges. But either way, I'm like, I'm getting time on it. I could get something that expires this week and it'd be super risky, high risk, high reward. Or I could get something safer a few weeks out that has time on it. That's when the Greeks come into play. And we can get into the Greeks. So I'm gonna pull up one of these contracts. I'll pull up the 3-3. Three, three. We're gonna look at some of the Greeks on it. You see right here, I bought the contract at $63. Right now it's worth 121. The Greeks are down here right below me. The Delta shows you what the stock is gonna go up, what the option is gonna go up. Every time the stock price goes up $1. So if the stock price goes up or down $1, this will show you exact movement. For option prices, this it's not $1.21. I mean, if you do, if you did not figure that out already, this is $100. This is $121. So if Lyft goes up $1, if you're looking at the delta, what is it going to be? If Lyft goes up $1 in price, your option is gonna go up $77 more. So if you're buying something that has a low delta, like if you're buying something that has a $5 delta, is it worth it? 
if you're spending fifty dollars and getting a five dollar delta is it worth it like you have to put these things into consideration now gamma this shows you the next move so the next delta this shows you what the next delta after the first one is going to be because these are like multipliers like just like a video game you have multipliers so they can exponentially go up or down it goes either way these are like timed you know you're it's like a speed run you want to make the most money as fast as possible and then get out the next one and this the gamma will keep going up the delta and the gamma will keep going up if the stock keeps going up like crazy that's just how it is theta this is the time decay so every day this is a contract until march 3rd it's february 15th right now Every day that I have this contract, I'm going to lose $1. Yeah, it sounds like it's not shit, but if the stock does not move for the rest of the month, I'm going to lose all my money. You know, that's uh, it's just how it goes. So that's one thing you have to keep in the play. So when I'm buying a call contract, when I'm buying something long, or if you're buying a put for farther out, if something's up really high, you're going to look at the theta. Because you, you just don't want to have money just getting burned. No one wants money getting burned. And that's how the seller on the other side of your contract is making money. So you have to put that in, into consideration too. Vega row. Don't worry about them. Implied volatility. Implied volatility is another thing to look at. Because implied volatility can change. So let's say that you're not... The market's not expecting any news or anything. Implied volatility is going to be low. If something crazy comes in, let's say it comes in your favor. Let's say the market rallies because the Fed lowers rates out of nowhere. The implied volatility is going to go up because of the crazy movement, but it's going to go up in your favor as well. But it can also go the other way. Let's say you buy a call after you hear that news that the Fed just lowered rates, hypothetically. And then you find out it was a pump fake. The implied volatility comes down. Your option contract is going to now lose money because of the implied volatility. So that's another factor to keep in the play. So now you're starting to see we have different variables that we have to keep up with. It's still for 3-3, so I'm just like managing this one right now. I'm not doing anything too crazy on it. Honestly, like I could do a lot more on it, but I like it right now. So let's go and find an option, okay? Let's... uh. Let's look through my stock list and find something that I like. How about we look at Meta? I'm up sort of I'm up sort of big on Meta for me. I knew this was an easy one. I mean, if you follow me, you know that I mean, I believe in Mark Zuckerberg. You can think he's a bot, you can not think he's a bot, but I mean, either way, he is a genius. You got to give him credit where credit's due. So, I see this down here I like. I mean, guys, I could look at candlestick charts like I mean, I'm just doing this for a video. Robinhood is really easy to use. Like, please put that into consideration man i'm not i'm not using robin hood because i'm dumb like let's be real like i have i have charts i could pull up too and show the same thing but i mean what's the point you guys can l learn way better way easier on robin hood this is a beginner platform it's way easier so i see a bottom here just looking at the robin hood charts 173 what was the high up here 184 so let's look at a option for like 190 or something that's two days see we don't want this that expires in two days like this i mean there's a chance it hits but you're paying 165 dollars for something that expires in two days i mean it might hit but it's it's just not worth it in my opinion it's really not worth it like, if you're really coming into it, like, wanting to do good risk to reward, wanting to really make money, that's not a play. And even if we look, let's look next week. No, let's look the third. The same contract right here. It's going for $510, but at least you have 16 days until it expires. So you have to keep that in mind too. Which either way, I don't like it. You would get something farther out. Like we could look at a 190. 
$142. Delta. 18 Delta. Has an 18 Delta. $12 Theta. This has bigger movements. It's, it's like a bigger stock than Lyft dollar for dollar. So, I mean, it has bigger movements. You have to keep that in mind. This, I mean, if, if you had really high conviction on Meta, this would be a play. I don't have super high conviction on Meta to the upside right now. I mean, I would... I still like Lyft. I mean, Lyft could come down, but I still like Lyft a lot. Try to find something else. Roku's up pretty big today. Okay, we have Roku up. My camera's in the way. We have Roku up 9% today, so in the last week. Okay, we're up. We could even look at a put. So we'll, just to show you guys another example, we'll look at a put option on Roku. Just to see what it would look like to the downside. So we're buying a put. And as we go down on the option chain, it gets cheaper. And I, I can make a more in-depth video on the option chain. I can make a more in-depth video on the Greeks if you want to. But this is just a good beginner video. So we'll come down here. We'll look at the, the 55. Expires in two days though. That's pretty expensive. I get It moves big. But look at the theta on this. You're... It's crazy. You're paying $180 now. It moves fast. $180. With the 23 delta and the theta, because it expires in two days, is $85. So you would want to day trade that and get in and out if you're even going to play it. Me, I just personally wouldn't play that. Like, I would be really trying to trade that in and out, and I would have to have high, high conviction. And that's not a high conviction play right now. Not not a put. Let's look at uh, 9 days. Expires in 9 days. We got another 55. This is $219. I mean, that's more reasonable. The theta on this... The theta on this is a 22. 22 theta, $24 delta, way better deal. Like, I mean, just doing simple math. Like, for me, and for a lot of people, that's a way better deal. Even though it's more money. But that's how it is in the option chain. Like, it's, it's going to change with a lot of different things. Some option chains are very shitty. Let's look at a uh, upstart option chain. March 3rd. Yeah, look. 77 volume, 38 open interest. The bid to ask spread is $5. I mean, it's like, that really ain't like a crazy bad spread, but you just see how it's like an illiquid option chain. Like not a lot of people are trading the options on this right now. So that's something to keep in mind because you can either take advantage of it or the options can take advantage of you. You have to be real with it. You have to be real with yourself. Are you YOLO in money? What is your game plan? Like really, what what is your game plan? Do you have a game plan? Are you trying to invest in options? Because I wouldn't invest in options. The longest option you can get is a few years out. And that, it's like... You can make it a little piece of your port of your portfolio, but there's no point in just doing that with your whole account. You might want to have a, a separate options trading account. And I mean, I'm by no means a financial expert or anything at all. I actually don't think you should listen to me. I think you should do your own research and find out for yourself. But you can set up a Robinhood account if you want. You can use my link in the description below. If you need an account, if you need a Weeble account, if you want an invite code, you will get some free stocks, you can do that. But I mean, you can get on there and see for yourself and learn for yourself. You can get on the option chain. Like you can, you can see anyone who buys an option. It won't tell you who it is. You don't need to know who buys the options, but you'll see the time and sales on everything. This one's more chilling. This option, I feel like this one should be up more, the Snapchat option, but Snap hasn't moved a lot since yesterday. 
So I'm really just chilling on it, but this one, I don't know what's gonna happen with it. But it's doing nice, I got it yesterday. So you see, like we're definitely up since when I got it yesterday in the morning. It's like, but if it takes another leg up, I would be up good. If it takes that leg up, I'll be sitting really nice. So we can do the delta play on this, right? I can calculate the delta for you right now. 1241 peak, we're at 11.05. If I calculate the delta on it, it's down here, 54. So I bought it at $54 too. So it would be at, like right now if it did the delta move, it would go from $65, $66, to 111 you know or whatever it is <laughs> that's probably pretty bad math that's probably pretty bad math but i mean it, it's close give or take like it would knock it over a hundred dollars and for the people who want to see like the option call outs i do like these option plays that i'm doing like you see them up here these are the ones i literally just took yesterday i'm not i'm not making a lot of plays every day like i have a job and stuff i mean i have I'm not, I'm not saying I have a huge TikTok following, but we're we're about to hit 100,000 followers on TikTok. That will be a, a huge goal as soon as we hit it, like a huge milestone that we set. And uh, I'm super excited for that. Like, And I want to get more of you guys on YouTube. Like, seriously, I want you guys to follow me on this journey and be a part of it and, and really try to change your life and shit. Like, we're going through crazy times right now. Like, I mean, outside of trading, outside of this other shit like we're going through insane shit right now and you you have to mentally prepare yourself and be there and and be the one who makes a difference because i mean a lot of people have just lost hope i mean we all see it like we all see it no one says anything but everyone sort of seems like everyone is hopeless give or take like outside of the the select few who want to make a change and make a difference a lot of people are hopeless like trading I'm, I'm not an expert trader like I, I do other things too, but I know about options I know how to trade options. I've been doing it for four or five years You can see my other Robinhood portfolio reveal video if you want to check that out to see more on it, but I'm I'm not new to this. I'm not new to the crashes. I'm not new to the news media uh, Downplaying events and changing narratives. I've, I've seen all of it a lot of us have you know It sucks man like it sucks but this is a life that we we live like you know we we can't change everything but we can hope to make a change and we can try to make a change and uh make the world a better place and make a bag to put yourself in a position to be able to do that you know that's part of it so you can join my discord i'll have that and a link in the in the description for this as well if you want to do this but uh, I mean, you can see my alerts. Like I just called them out. Like you can see everything in here, gains and wins. I don't post in there as much as I should. So I mean, I don't do a lot of plays. We know that. But the plays I take, the the big plays that we take, they are big swings. I mean, like I uh, I do put a lot of time and effort into them. That's that's without a doubt. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, like the video. And let me know. Let me know down in the comments. I mean, let me know what kind of video I should do next. Like, I can do more stock videos. I can uh, show my crypto portfolio, show you some crypto stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm down for whatever, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Peace.